on his cheeks, you know. And at the end of it, I didn't even know if the room was listening, because, you know, Dubliners are usually very, you know, loud. Um, so at the end of it, I just said, hey, anybody that needs prayer, i got to go to, on a flight. I knew I had to get a flight to, 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 to London that day. So, so I said, anybody that needs prayer for this, just come through. And it was just sort of a, I was just throwing it out there, thinking that maybe a couple people would come forward you know, for prayer, and then, and then we'd finish the service because nobody was listening anyway. <laughs> and, and all of a sudden, I surprised the whole room. Just, I mean, there was like 20 people in the seats. You know, nearly, you know, six, seven, eight hundred people just running to the front for prayer. And now I'm thinking, what? This is not going to work because I, they really want to be prayed for. And we've got to leave. This is gonna, we're going to look ridiculous, heartless. And, and so I'm standing there not knowing what to do. And I said, whoa, I wasn't expecting this. And they're all there and people are crying. And they want to be prayed for. And then on top of all that, I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> Dream the scaffolding was over the building. But I was supposed to give the Queen of England a tour of the city. And he said, and so what happened was I started to uh, try to form the story differently so that I could skip these buildings that I was sort of embarrassed by. And he said, and so as I'm skipping these buildings with scaffolding on it, I get by the first one and I'm like, Phew. I, I'm telling the story to the people in England and we're walking slowly by all these buildings and I get by the second one. Wow. And, he, and I said, at first I thought I was getting away with it. And he said, the longer and longer that I told the story of Dublin City, the more I started all of a sudden on that third one, I started like tripping over my words. And the story started to not work. And he said, and I go by the third one with scaffolding and take them to this next building that didn't happen on. And while I'm speaking by that next building, all of a sudden it dawns on me. The story isn't working anymore. I've ruined this whole tour. That's what he says in my dream. And he said, and I realize I'm going to have to turn around and I'm going to have to tell the Queen of England that we have to start the tour over. And I woke up. And he said to us, and so as I'm sitting there today, I started crying because God started